have to spend the holiday weekend at this reunion. I don't want to go to the lake and see your friends. Why don't we just stay in bed? You call Domino's? Domino's? <laughs> yeah. You can be my love slave and I'll spread pizza sauce all over you. <laughs> How romantic. Aw, come on. There's got to be worse fates than being held captive all weekend by the next cover girl of Chicago Style Magazine. Get out of here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when did you find this out? They told me last night. But by the time I got home, you know, you were so busy working, I just uh, went to bed. Congratulations. Thank you. December issue. Wow. God, it looks great, Trent. So you're finished with it now, huh? I think so. I've come up with another title. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here, how about this? Hmm. The End of Western Civilization. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I only dig you because you're so damn optimistic, right? I know. You know that, don't you? Smart dude. Alex a couple of months ago, but I haven't seen any of those other guys since last year. How come? I don't know. Guess I'm not that tight with them now, you know? So, why do you come on this trip? Nostalgia? Nah. You see, we get together every 4th of July, and I had a gig this year, and Trent was out of town. So Alex calls me up, and he says, Drew, come on up now. So, I don't know. How long have you guys been doing this for? Since high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty unusual, isn't it? What do you mean? I don't know, to be friends with people that you were friends with in high school? Ah, you see, I've known most of them since before then. Some of us even lived on the same street as kids. I went to the doctor the other day. The plane hurt tonight. I uh, got a deviated septum, and he was going to fix it, but he couldn't reattach it all the way because I had to fly the next day, and the pressure from the plane would have been bad. So what he did instead, he put, he just widened my nasal cavity. And how he did that, he put medicinal liquid cocaine on the inside of my nose to numb it. Then he went in with this long electric hot rod and just <laughs> burned the ends of my nose out. Man, it hurt like hell, but now I'm selling all my boogers as crack. If you weren't so late, Alex, I wouldn't have to speak. Don't pin this crap on me. You guys were butt naked when we got there. <laughs> well, we, uh, we were busy all week. <laughs> Jill, hi. Really? Really? Thanks. I owe you one. See you next week. What's going on? Uh, just an update in the story they're preparing. And you know, you guys still reek of fresh sex. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, Mother Nature. Mother Nature, Debbie. Well, hello, pretty mama. 
fucking charmed, I'm sure. I saw a falling star the other day, and I got to wondering how come a star has never fallen out of a major constellation? Ever. Tim said he'd leave the key out in case we got here first. Should be under here. Chamber awaits. <laughs> Eclectic rustic. I can deal. And the ugly brown couch is still here. <laughs> well, do you have a history with this ugly brown couch, do you? I have no history with that couch with anybody, darling. Uh -huh. So it's been a year since you've seen your friends, huh? Just about. Why so long? Uh, I guess we're all pretty busy. And it's pretty rare when both Drew and I are in town at the same time. He's the guitar guy, huh? Man, is there anything to eat in there? I'm starving. Hors d'oeuvres, monsieur? Jesus, what the hell is this? Oh, you got me hanging. It was in the fridge. You sure about that? No, I lied. It came from in here, and I think it's yours. Yeah, I always knew my offspring would look like that. Oh, it's alive! <laughs> Very funny, wise guy. What are you doing? Displaying it. We'll say it's your latest art piece. <laughs> Shame that brain surgery of yours never took hold. I heard that. Well, if it had, I wouldn't have a need for your skinny butt now, would I? I thought you were hungry. Oh, I am. Open up my window for a breath of fresh air Something black and hazy drifts in total dark <laughs> Serious? I don't know. Do you want to tell me about it? Alex has been really stressed out at work. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Why don't I get some of these tomatoes? Oh, God, are we going to have fun on this trip? Of course we're going to have fun on this trip. I mean, who are these people? I feel like I'm not going to have anything to say to them. Oh, come on, Tina. We went through this. I told you all about them. You practically know them. All right, give me a kiss. Come on. Mm. <laughs> now, check this out. Remember that song, So Long, that I was working on? Of course. I changed it for the 4th of July, this fake 4th of July weekend. I think they'll get a kick out. You going to help me out on it? Let's go. Okay. It was the 4th of July, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Another year gone and I don't know why. I got a good seat for the sky <laughs> show. Is that right or wrong? <laughs> Just help me on the course. It's coming now. All right? All right? Let's try it. One, two, three. And I wonder, you don't know how I wonder. You're good. <laughs> and I said so long. All right. You dig it? Yeah, I love it.
I smell sex out here, too. It's in the car, it's out here, it's everywhere. Your husband has a one-track mind, Miss Maggie. <laughs> oh, man. What the hell is this? Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh. Oh. Well, this is very appetizing. Looks like lunch that someone couldn't keep down. Oh, God. <laughs> From about a month ago. Oh, oh. Man. So what should we do with it? We'll leave it for the next customer. You are really sick, Tim. <laughs> Hello! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, we begin fumigating in three minutes. I'll get the rest of the stuff. Right. Maybe they're out back. I uh, don't think so. Hey, cheese bag. Hey, Ann, how are you? Good, how the hell are you? <laughs> I'm good. I lost this. Uh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good. Oh, you look great. Can't complain. He kid, but he won't. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Debbie. Deb, this is the ever beautiful Maggie, Alex's wife. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And Mr. Wall Street wizard himself, Tim Whitman. Hey. Hi. Hey, Tim. Oh, you lost this, too. Hey! Hi! Hi, baby. How are you? Not in a couple of drinks, couldn't handle. Oh, I'm glad some things don't change. Hey, hey. How you doing? Good, good, good. Good. So, uh, becoming a star of the art world yet? Oh, we'd be working on it. Debbie, this is the future of television news, Alex Merrick. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Tim's charming, sexy wife, Bobby Whitman, who's a hotshot attorney for a bunch of liars at... Oh, lawyers! At the State Bar Association. Sorry, I just get that. It's not as you. wonderful as he makes it sound, really. It's very nice to Hi. meet you. She's in a far off land with diamond rings on her hands. She was smiling in the mirror. She was spitting in the can. I love something for you. <laughs> All right. I forgot the gum. I'm sorry. I can't believe I forgot the gum. How could they have no gum? I Think you can get some gum? You know, the hard stuff with the comics, the fortune? Sorry, man. No gum. You want muffins? I don't want muffins. I want gum. You want something to drink? Sure. What are we going to get? I'm starting to get a little nervous again. Hey, come on. Don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. They're going to love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. I dig you. Mm -hmm. Wow, they got on a convenience store. How convenient. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. You just getting here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tina Ron. Ron, Tina. Hi. Hi. You're a lot prettier than his last girlfriend. It's good to see you, Ron. <laughs> yeah, and I open uh, December 1st on LaSalle. Should be a good show. I've got some support from some industry people this time. What about that guy from the Tribune? You know, the one that's always after your ass? What's this? Some art critic is mad at you? No, he's literally after his ass, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, you're worrying me. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> Maggie, you need some help there? No, thanks. I'm fine. Yeah, we got it covered. We'll help Maggie. So, uh, why don't you men go do some male thing, like piss on a rock or go pick your teeth with a bayonet or something? Us gals will help Maggie in the kitchen and be flat on her backs for you in no time at all. How's that? Okay. okay. Right then. Let's go. Jesus, doesn't a room full of testosterone sometimes just make you want to puke? <laughs> Man, she is hot. Is she as good as she looks? Are you as dumb as you look? Hey, uh, Trent, what the hell is this anyway? It's my latest work of art. Ah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I like it myself. She wants to be Belly Woman. <laughs> belly Woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm what they used to call in the 50s a homemaker. A homemaker. Which means basically that I do the raising of Maureen. <clears throat> and I spend the money that Alex makes. <laughs> She's a happy camper. <laughs> Is Maureen your only child? Uh, I want more, but it's a matter of talking the workaholic into it. I got an idea. You know what you can do? Since you want two more kids, you start taking fertility drugs, right? This way, when you do get pregnant, you won't have to fight tooth and nail for the third one. You get them both right then and there. And what if I have more than two? 
Sore tits. <laughs> go, baby, go, baby. In there. I saw your piece on Barnes the other night. It's quite good. Thanks. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, it was a blast to do. Oh. We corner him in this restaurant. <laughs> he got really pissed, started shooting his mouth off. They aired the whole thing. <laughs> Goddamn Democrats. <laughs> so are they going to make you an anchor, Alex, or are you going to sit around and procreate more rednecks? Vampire! Vampire! Any on the way for you, you social Darwinist? Vampire! <laughs> what did you just call me? Forget it. Truth is, you don't want your lifestyles hampered. Oh, yeah, this is just talking. You go all over the country doing God knows what. Hey, I'm not the one making megabucks. Merger in and acquire in the world. By the way, the Fed's been knocking down your door lately. We make appointments now. But we did have a visit from them last week. Really? What about? Oh, well, you remember the firm I'm with had some dealings with Michael Milken back in the late 80s? They're just trying to nail us on something again, that's all. But I mean, if any heads roll, it won't be mine. <laughs> Come on. I took a quick peek when I first came in, but uh, it was pretty bare. There should be some spices in that cupboard. Thank you. Uh, we at least have basil, right? Trent loves his basil. I usually <laughs> scrub. Oh. You want to know if I cook for him, right? Do I get my mail there? Do I have my own closet space? That kind of juicy stuff, huh? Well, go ahead and ask me. I'm open. I think we're going to get along with this girl just fine. Life isn't perfect, you know? You said it was. Well, I thought it could be. I thought it might be possible. What are you, nuts? This is a playground to grow in. We're here to learn. If everything was perfect, we'd probably be somewhere else drinking, smoking, and eating Nirvana. Yeah, but that's my point. If this is a playground, then a attaining perfection of life is possible. I mean, I should be able to reach that place where everything works, where everything's great. That's pretty arrogant, pal. I'm not being arrogant. Just saying it, it should be possible, and I'm just a little pissed I'm not there yet. At your age? Yeah. And Nirvana? You mean Ambrosia. <laughs> you know, for a minute there, I thought you were talking about eating out a grunge rock band. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, who's up for another Ambrosia? Sure. Okay. Right. So what's up? You don't usually talk philosophy this early in the day. Unless something's wrong. Let's go for a walk. Lord knows you make a shitload of money. 200 grand isn't a shitload. <laughs> it's about 10 times what I make. Yeah, but you got your freedom. You can go anywhere, do anything, be anybody you want. I'm locked in. I'm, I'm the field reporter, the family man, major responsibilities. I am defined. I would love to be able to go to Eastern Europe or Israel or Africa, explore the world and do my own stories. Well, why don't you then? It's not that simple. You're not envious of me. Maybe. Whether I am or not, I... I think it's time to leave the marriage. Oh my God, are you serious? It's not that I don't still love Maggie, I do. It just feels like it's time to make some changes. You want to leave your marriage because you feel it's time to make changes? Yeah. Are you out of your fucking mind? Whoa. Oh, man. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Why is it on a plate? Well, maybe they're defrosting it for dinner. I hope not. Get me away from that thing. Sugarama. Hello? Hey, Maggie. Hey. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah, Tina. This is Maggie. Alex is, although you haven't met him yet, better half. Hi, nice to meet you. Too. And uh, you must be the better half of the artiste. Yes, Debbie. True. Cool. All right. So what's cooking here? It smells good. Keep your hands out of there if you want to keep them. Okay. Tina, would you like a beer? Sure. Actually, I'll have one too while you're in there. All right, we got three. Just enough. So where is everybody, Mag? Tim and Bobby are around. Alex and Trent are out somewhere, and Ron hasn't shown up yet. 
No, we just ran into Ron a little while ago at the convenience store. Did you know that he was back in AA? Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe you guys should say something to him while you're up here. Okay. Ronald, we have something to say to you. Get a life, quit that post office job you hate, and if you do decide to shoot your supervisors, <laughs> make sure you use a gun that requires a minimum reloading. I recommend the AK-47. <laughs> Charming. Uh, the camera is running alongside of me, and we get to this corner, and she's either got to stop or get run over. So I thrust the microphone into her face, and I say, Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Ron's here. Last time I was in town, uh, we were in dinner at my folks' place and you never showed up. Oh. Sorry, I mean, I was gonna borrow my dad's car, but he got drunk and then it just got late. <laughs> so, Alex, I, I hear at the uh, post office you've been getting a lot of letters since that barn story here. That's right. Yeah, well, I hope it's all hate mail. <laughs> just like Ron to stand up for a Democrat, regardless of whether he's honest or not. Hey. He's done some good things for the city. Yeah, and pigeons have done a lot of good stuff for the city, too. <laughs> Don't be surprised if the cops pull him out of his car and whip his ass. Ron, the cops do not beat up reporters anymore and get away with it. Boss Daly's been dead, what, 18 years now? The corruption here is nothing compared to what goes on other places. I mean, I was living in Italy for two years. Talk about a screwed up system, man. It's scary. Italy, huh? Yeah. What were you doing there? I was just doing some modeling, you know, catalogs and stuff. Hmm. Nothing you'd ever see. Never seen me on the cover of Vogue or anything. Well, I don't see why not. I mean, you certainly have the looks for it. Thanks. You must meet a lot of gorgeous male models. <laughs> you know, the really gorgeous ones always seem to be gay. And uh, if that's not the case, they're either totally vain or complete airheads. <laughs> airheads? Wait a minute. Men, men can't be airheads. I mean, uh, it's female trick. That's true. Shut the fuck up, airhead. <laughs> anyway, we've had more corruption with Republican presidents at the helm in the past two and a half decades than we have with Democratic presidents combined. You know that for a fact, do you, yes, Ron? Yes, I do. You're full of crap. Do you want a list? Ron, what about the Keating Five? What about? Four of those guys were Democrats, and I had to explain that. I'll tell you how, buddy boy. Many more behind the scenes were Republicans, man. They just weren't reported in the news. Right, yeah, like the press is dominated by conservatism. There you go. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye. Working today? Oops. <laughs> Not really. I only have a couple of calls to deal with today. Sure. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you happy? Being happy is just a side effect of living one's life to the max. You know? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what you're saying ever. <laughs> OK. Are you living your life to the max? In most areas. Yeah. Debbie's really cute. Yeah, I like her a lot. More than anyone else in quite a while. So? What's stopping you from living your life to the max in the romantic department? Who says I'm not? Not Cassandra. Honey, I know you were hurt. It's been a couple of years, you know? It's time to heal up, stop living in the past. How long do you think Debbie's gonna wait for you to get to the present? Hmm? You're right. Headed down to Alderman Barnes. We now go to Morgan Tracer, who's at... Hey, 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 Alex's story is on TV, you guys. Hey, 
We're here at the home of Alderman Barnes as we've received word that he will be coming out to issue a statement any minute now. This comes as a surprise as the grand jury was not expected to reconvene until Tuesday. However, a special session was suddenly called in this afternoon due to recent developments over the past week. Got that wrong? Apparently, new testimony was taken today that has now led to this indictment. Okay, we're going to stand by, and as soon as he comes out, we will be bringing this to you live. To Alex, who's on vacation this weekend. <laughs> we miss you. Oh, that's sweet. Back to you in the station, Bill. Um, i got to make a phone call. Morgan Tracer here. What the hell was that? Alex, how are you, darling? It's nice to hear from you. What the hell was what? The thing you just said on the air. The story? I'm just covering it for you while you're gone, sweetheart. This is not a game anymore, Morgan. This is my life. I don't know what you're talking about, Alex. Not only was that little we miss you unprofessional, my wife and my friends were watching. They were, huh? Well, I hope they enjoyed it. It is over. You got it, Morgan? Over. Oh. Well, you said that before, haven't you, sweetheart? You know, Alex, you can't end this thing. We're too good for each other. And uh, even you said the sex was the best you'd ever had. <laughs> well, I'm ending it now. Do you understand? Oh, yes, I understand completely. I can't wait to see you on Tuesday, darling. Alex, I know it's none of my business, but, um, you cheated on Maggie? Right. It's none of your business. Look, it doesn't take a genius to see the tension between you and Maggie, and every time Morgan Tracer's name comes up, you go ballistic. What are you, the ethics police? Just get out of here, Tim, all right? Alex, it's not fair to Maggie. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's, that's just great. This is coming from a guy maybe going to jail. Is that fair to Bobby? What are you talking about? Alex, what are you talking about? ABC is doing an undercover expose on your firm. Anytime anything negative surfaced about you, I tried to kill the story, but they responded by cutting me out of the loop. phone call in the car this morning was from a friend telling me they're airing the story next week. Doesn't look very good for you. What do they know? They got Charles Blakely. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you to the end of the weekend. Yeah. I'm here for you, right? That was worse than the last one. Listen, off the subject, this reminds me just now. Alex. Trent. Which one of you scumbags put that thing out on the porch, man? I stepped right in it. I had to put my shoe in a plastic bag in the trunk of my car. It stunk so bad. Speaking of big messes, Trent, you painting anything lately? Oh. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, I'm working on a piece right now entitled Nuclear Fantasy. It's a scene of the Zion nuclear power plant emitting this pinkish, greenish, toxic gook out of its smokestacks. While we're eating? Nice. Sorry, Meg, it's a statement. About what? You know, if it wasn't for big business and the uh, prosperity it has created, the quality of our lives would be for shit. You know, okay. we have to have a lot of energy. OK. Sure. <laughs> All he's saying is that we should be developing alternate sources of energy on a larger scale. Well, it's too expensive, right, Tim? Well, you two own stock in the oil and nuclear industry? Got nothing to do with it. It's got everything to do with it. Stop wasting food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if alternative energy costs too much now, is it going to be any cheaper when we can't inhabit the planet because of radioactivity and fossil fuel emissions? Oh, bullshit. 
Can you show me some scientific evidence that the greenhouse effect is really that bad? And I'll show you Santa Claus in uh, Easter. <laughs> the point, dear, is that we should stop making a mess of the planet that our grandparents and great-grandparents started. You sure you're married to Tim? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that our generation is going to be the one to make the complete change, but I think this planet's going to go through a major shift over the next 10 years. A lot of highly evolved souls are being born now and have been born over the past 40 or so years, and these are some of the people who are facilitating this change. No, I've read some stuff about that. This is like the second coming, right? No, oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Yeah, it may not be Jesus Christ coming back in person, but many people with a Christ-like or a loving consciousness. But I think that anyone, no matter how evolved or unevolved they are, can become a part of the second coming. If that's what we're going to call it, I think it just, it just takes a shift into a spiritual consciousness. I'll get it. The only kicker is you usually have to undergo a certain amount of trauma first. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> Look, just find out whatever you can and call me back as soon as possible, all right? Fine. Does it have anything to do with the prophecies of uh, Nostradamus and others? Maybe. Oh. Oil paints bound to change the world, always have in the past. Hey, rock and roll has changed the world. Either way, at least he's got something in his head more than Grecian formula. Ooh. Grecian formula. <laughs> yeah, pretty boy dyed your hair. <laughs> hey, come on, this better not leave the room. Everybody in his family goes totally gray by the time they're 35. No, yeah, and we can't have the public seeing Golden Boy with any gray streaks. It's not good for ratings. I think men with gray hair look very distinguished. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, everybody's too obsessed with image today anyway. What? I'll say, guy loses a little hair, gets a little out of his shape, and boom, he can't get a date. A little bit? Oh, fine. <laughs> Up yours. <laughs> Up yours. Ron, what planet are you from? At least I'm from a planet. <laughs> okay. I love you, too. I miss you, too. Here's Daddy. Hi, honey. Yeah. I miss you, too. Grandma took you shopping today. What the hell was that? Hey, Ron. All right, Deborah. What's she doing? Trying to figure out what that is in my pie. Yuck. I didn't get one of those. Yeah. It was good pie, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you don't have a girlfriend? Mm. Not anymore. No? No. No. I, uh, I have a little trouble with the opposite sex. How come? I mean, you're obviously intelligent. You have a great sense of humor. I, uh, I had some, uh, learning disabilities growing up. So? So, I have problems with people. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a very good excuse to me. I think I push them away. Why? Yeah, you are. You are too pretty to know what I go through. Well, thank you very much, Ron. But we all have our crosses to bear. You don't know what my life's been like. Taking it the wrong way. Look. If you really have problems with people, I mean, maybe you should do something about it. You know, there's, there's. Therapy or some relationship workshops or something? I, I, I don't know. Because if I were single here, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So come out and join us when you're done. Okay. You're not enjoying yourself? No, not really. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. You <laughs> think you can get me a record deal? Sure, all right. I'll call David Geffen tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Rania, why don't you come down to the jacuzzi with me? Yeah, I'll think about it.
Can I help you relax? I'm, I'm relaxed, okay? I'm, I'm fucking relaxed. Hey. What's going on, Tim? You've been missing an action half the evening. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just having a hard time unwinding, you know? You sure? Yeah. What's with all the phone calls? I thought we were keeping this trip work free. Yeah, I know. Some stuff came up. Now I gotta stick by the phone. You coming down the jacuzzi? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Are you swearing to tell the truth, the whole <laughs> truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I swear to tell uh, the truth. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Sophie Industries is about to be taken over by Bell Atlantic. I'd like to run a buy through the Thompson account, which you handle. What are you, out of your mind? Just 20,000 shares. Charles, that's illegal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not twisting your arm here. There is a killing to be made here, and you are risk-free. Besides, I heard about that vacation house you're trying to buy. I just thought you might need a little extra cash. Yeah, well, I don't think so. Okay. I'm making several buys anyway. Just trying to share in the good fortune. So why the Thompson account? It's so large and active. No one will ever suspect. Earth to Major Tim. Earth to Major Tim. Come in. Sorry. <laughs> Just thinking about how, uh... Life used to be so simple, that's all. I mean, remember when we were kids, the only thing we ever worried about was growing up and you know, who we were gonna ask for the dance. What, are you longing for your childhood? <laughs> no. I just think that life used to be a lot easier when we were younger, that's all. Maybe things would seem a lot simpler now if our generation had a purpose. I don't think that we who have grown up in the 70s and 80s have a voice, or at least one that's been heard from yet. The voiceless generation. Where are they? Why haven't they spoken? Please tune in tomorrow when we'll tell you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. She's got a point. I mean, we haven't had any real leaders emerge from our age group. And with the leader of that voiceless generation, please answer your cellular phone. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very content in our material desires. Speak for yourself. Come on, Trent. You don't have any desires? Yeah, you know how many desires, Dave? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he's got desires. <laughs> he's a cowboy. You think they legalize marijuana? Yes or no, what do you think? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know whether they should or not. You know, if they do legalize marijuana, you could buy it at a grocery store in those big bulk food barrel things. The trouble with that is that everybody would walk by and sample the marijuana plants. Like they do the trail mixes and the yogurt pants. People would be in the store getting high all day long. The store wouldn't care because your grocery bill would subsequently go up 2,500%. Let's go shopping. They'd trick you, man. They'd come across a loudspeaker every 20 minutes with ho-hos on aisle nine. <laughs> Hey, Ron. Yeah. There's some sheets in the pillow for you. Great. Now I can pretend to have a bed and someone to share it with. You know, whether you believe it or not, I'm glad you're here. Good night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, do 
Oh God, there's this is a huge spider web. Look at that. We gotta get Tim to clean that out. <laughs> we get spider eggs in our mouths. Oh, forget about oh, the spider. You know, your hands are freezing. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, I'm lying here in this million dollar house, owned by Tim, a guy who I've known for 25 years. Did he say one fucking word to me? You know, he looks down on us, I'm telling him. He doesn't look down on us. Oh, come on, he's got the house, he's got the car, he's got everything. I got the guitar and that's it, and he's really starting to piss me off. You got me. Yeah. Come on, let's go to sleep. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just, like, all stressed out, because, you know, I got the Trent, Ron, I got to get these songs done, I got my whole past coming back at me. I feel like I'm fucking drowning, man. I know. I haven't seen you in three weeks. Yeah, well, I've been away, you know? I know. I know, but I was just hoping for a little more this weekend. <sighs> what were you hoping for? I don't know, maybe a little passion, a little togetherness, a little enjoying of one another. All right. We go to sleep, and tomorrow you get plenty of passion, togetherness, and enjoying each other, but tonight <sighs> I gotta go to sleep. Okay? Fine, forget it. Oh, come on, what are you doing? No, just forget what are you you're doing? so into oh, yourself. Tim, you come, you're just so quiet. selfish. Why don't you go through you're the whole house? You're too much work. Okay? Fine. What? All right. Just you're so out. much Will you come back? Work. What are you, Tina? Come. What are you doing? <laughs> now, where does that go, really? Good night. be there for him and to do stuff for him and everything I try it's not enough he's so fucking cold he's so fucking selfish he's so not there and I don't have anything more to give anymore I don't, I don't know what to do he's a hard guy to get to to him and it's not enough and I don't know what to do anymore. You, you know, you and Debbie, you're so good together, you know? It's what I want. I wish I could find that, you know? I keep picking these wrong men, you know? I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. It's hard to find somebody. I think you have. I think so.
Nice harmony. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh, God. They're so athletic, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think I got married too early. How old were you? 22, just out of college. Ah, that's not that young. Some people I knew got married right out of high school. How many of them are still married? <laughs> not many. <laughs> I got hitched right out of high school. Yeah, it lasted about four years. What happened, if you don't mind my asking? Well, I think you'd have to ask my shrink about that. <laughs> <laughs> we grew apart. I don't know. I think we expected too much of each other. And you know what they say, a good man is hard to find. <laughs> you mean a hard, hard man, man is, is good, good to find. find. <laughs> 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 oh, no, Dina's right, man. I've been dating, and let me tell you, I don't know, maybe you guys have been out of circulation a while. But there are a lot of dorks out there. Good, I know. I dated most of them. <laughs> I've, gone with, I've gone out with rich guys, poor guys, guys with big dicks, guys with little dicks. Hello, is anybody in there? <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny that hardly any of them were any good at making love. <laughs> so let me tell you, Miss Maggie, you haven't missed a thing. That is so true. I mean, I haven't been with that many men. <laughs> <laughs> Only very few were any good. And I can always tell if a man's gonna be any good by the way he kisses. Hardly any guys know how to kiss, but the ones that do, man, whew, they really know how to, you know, bone. Oh! <laughs> Can't believe this, he's putting us all to shame. Then throw something at him. Hey, get those jumbo pretzels. <laughs> yeah, let's bombard him with those. Never <laughs> well, I don't actually work for the mayor. I do um, secretarial work for one of his aides. Uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to be there till my hair is blue or anything. Mm, not the lifelong career choice. I hear you. No, it's transitory. From what to what? Well, um, I always used to attach myself to men who would take care of me. Mm. I would get my identity from them. And all the experts say that's really unhealthy. So I'm just trying not to do that anymore. See where it takes me. It's an admirable goal. Yeah. Either that or I'm insane. <laughs> hey, Ron, I, uh, I hear you got a new girlfriend. Oh. No, that's over, man. It didn't last very long either. Mm. I mean, what girl wants to date a guy that delivers her bills, really? <laughs> oh, Ron, if a woman doesn't want to date you because of that, then she isn't the right one for you. Oh, thank you, Pollyanna. It's easy for you to say. Oh, fuck you, too. Look, I've gone out with women who are looking for a rich husband. Not here. And, and you know I've seen women who think it's cool I'm an artist, but they don't like my lifestyle. You gotta trust you're gonna find the one who wants to be with you just for you. Yeah? And what if I don't meet her? Well, then you always have your right hand. He's left-handed. Oh. <laughs> Shut up and fuck you. <laughs> what about Debbie? Is, is she the right one? Oh, I don't know. Anytime I think I found the one for me, I was wrong. What the hell? Marriage is overrated anyways. Hey, excuse me, how the hell would you know? My parents. Speaking of crazy, I've been accepted for the master's program at Northwestern. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Wow, our alma mater. Yep. I just don't want to practice law anymore. You know, I want to help people before they need a lawyer or after they've been to one. <laughs> so it's back to psychology. Yep. Bobby the therapist, as usual. But old friends are half price. Oh, such a deal. You guys always got the women. Even senior prom, you arranged my date for me. Where'd you get that from? From Tim. Where the hell do you think? No, look, Ron, this is what happened, right? We asked Julie if she had a date. And yeah. when she said no, we just bugged you to ask her yeah, out. Right, it. yeah, and you bribed her with a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah. A bottle of Jack Daniels and a date with Alex. Come on, R Ronnie, I was just kidding about that. Kidding about which part, the date or the, the Jack Daniels? Ron, Ron, look, I'm telling you the truth, all right? You know, Tim just likes to mess around with you. She wouldn't even let me kiss her. Tim, give him a kiss. All right, come here. Uh, hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys, you know. Hey, Ron. What's your problem, man? Hey. Hey. Ooh. Well, oh, that's a beer. I thought it was a cola. 
My fault. So what's going on with that securities investigation at Tim's firm? Um, they seem to be in a preliminary stage right now. Are you worried? I don't know. Tim feels it's a, a gray area as to whether he did anything wrong or not. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it depends on who's running the investigation. Oh. Uh -huh. And, oh, uh, God. And? I won't cross that bridge when we get to it. At least I know a lot of good top defense lawyers. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You what? I was a virgin till I was in college. Second year. Uh, you son of a bitch. You asshole. What? Don't, don't you remember all those stories about him getting laid all the time? That was all bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was bullshit. You're a dick. All these years, I thought you lost it like 14. But... You remember that story about him going down to Arkansas where he met two women in a trailer, carnival yeah. people or something, yeah. they both did him. Yeah. I ate my heart out over I that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Trent tells me to take Taekwondo. Yeah. Yeah, I studied that for a while. In Chicago? Who with? Rachel Lozano. Really? Me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a nice coat. Has she ever come on to you? <laughs> yeah. Remind me not to go there if I ever want to study Taekwondo. We wouldn't even know she's gay. So I take it she came on to you? Yeah. And what'd you do? Nothing, really. Oh, come <laughs> on. I mean, I don't care. Do you guys care? I don't care. Doesn't bother me. So? So, yeah, we hit it off for a bit. It was interesting. <laughs> okay. She made me feel really beautiful. But when it came down to it, she just didn't have the right equipment. Oh. Hmm. So you were with another woman? It's the big deal, Meg. Were you ever with another woman? Almost. <laughs> when? <laughs> Once. What happened? Oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, I was at this bar over in Newtown. This was during my bar hopping years. She invited me back to her place. But I declined. <laughs> How come? I don't know. I don't know. It was very strange. Well, do you ever wish that you'd gone through with it? Yeah. 
They got some really nice stuff in here, don't they? This hat is great. <laughs> so I'm flicking channels down at this Motel 8 in Nashville. You see Dan Rather and Tom Brokaw and the other guy. Who am I gonna see you up there, Al? Hey, they're grooming me. They're grooming you? Yeah, they just, I just gotta wait for one of those guys to retire. Yeah, we get the contract, we take them out. <laughs> so whatever happened with that deal you were working on? Uh, with, uh, what is her name? Funny, right? Yeah. It went great, man. Didn't you see me on the cover of Rolling Stone? I got a big house in Malibu. Fell through, Al. It always falls through. I'm sorry. So am I. Hey, it's gonna happen eventually. I mean, you, you're really good. No, you see, that's not what it is. We play at these bars every night and we rock the place. I mean, the place is packed. We get the record companies down there like, good job, Drew, you guys rocked. You guys are happening. Good job, let's do lunch. It never happens, man. Still playing bars. I might be playing bars for the rest of my life. Huh? No, hey, listen, listen. At least you're selling some songs, right? You never did that before. It took one step at a time. Right? <sighs> Thanks, Dad. You know, I gotta hand it to you and Trent. Man, you guys got guts. The struggle the way you do for as long as you have, man, that's something. I think I have to go to the bathroom. What can I get you? How about a new life? What'll it take? What's important to you? Hey. Oh, oh, shit. Back, 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 Okay, back, back. Okay. Oh, Man. No harder. No harder than you. You're gonna be sore in the morning. Yeah, the place is gonna be sore. Yeah? Yeah. So, are we gonna live in sin forever or are you gonna marry me? I said, are we gonna live in sin forever or are you gonna marry me? <laughs> yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> we have a yes. Too much, please. So is he a keeper or what? Yeah, I'd like to keep him. That's just that uh, he doesn't seem like he really wants a commitment, you know? Come here, girl. tell you a little secret, and if I'm suddenly bludgeoned to death by a paintbrush, you'll know why. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, a couple of years ago, Trent was deeply in love with this socialite anorexic. <laughs> I didn't like her very much, but anyway, we thought that she loved him also, but she ended up trashing him one day for someone with a lot of money, a lot of power. <sighs> so if he's a little gun-shy, yeah, yeah, I guess he is. That might be the reason why. You know, he really is really special, but, um, you know, nothing really good in my life ever lasts for very long, so, especially men, you know? You know, I don't mean to pry in your business or anything, right? Well, no, it's just that my dad split when I was 11, and um, the only time I ever really thought I was in love, it changed so fast that it made my head spin. And I just don't want to be in that space again. I mean, it's not like I walk around with a mandra of life sucks or anything, you know? I don't. It's just, uh, you know, something great happens in my life far fucking out. I just don't take anything for granted. Wow. <laughs> it's uncanny how similar you and Trent are in some ways. Thanks, Bobby. So you having any fun? 
I am not. Oh, you mean with the girls? <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. They're all pretty cool, kind of fun. Although Maggie seems a bit uptight. She can be. How old is everyone? Early 30s. Hmm. I don't know. We were talking earlier. They all seem a little material or something. It's just not me. I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was a generation thing. <laughs> I mean, not that that's bad, but, uh, you know, the young have always been around to help the old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He's 27, sees a generation thing. Oh. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for coming. So I went to him and I said, you know, Dad, uh, I'm a senior in college now. <laughs> and I think that I'm too old to be getting a spanking. And my dad got real macho when he got right in my face. And he said, you know, Ron, the day that you think that you can take me that's when I'll stop giving you spankings, mister. Well, I was visiting my parents a few weeks ago, and my dad is still riding me about everything. So I'm thinking, OK. <laughs> Son of a bitch, today's the day. I'm going to take him. So I kink his oxygen tube. <laughs> oh, I had that bastard on his knees. I just kept squeezing. Let's just say that there's no more spankings coming my direction, all right? Don't you think I've tried that? The little prick won't take my calls. This can't be covered up by smoke. How many times must he be told? There's situations he sees but never knows. When he gets home Not again Responsibility If he needs a friend I guess it's up to me But I would defend His individuality I don't mean to vent But will he ever learn One-eyed perception is pretty weak What time is it? 8.30. Go on stage at 9. We got time for a drink. I thought we agreed we're not going to do this anymore. Yeah, it's just one. <sighs> it's not a good idea. All your friends are going to be there tonight. Uh, all the more reason for me to have a drink. I give up. I give up. I don't know what happened. We were here all night. 
Yeah, yeah well, we were there waiting for you to go on. Well. I can get another slot next week. Bobby, don't be this way. Be what way? Pissed off. I'm not pissed off. I just wish you'd tell me what's going on. Nothing is going on. Bullshit. What's going on? Listen, how would you feel if I shifted careers? What? Well, I've been thinking about getting out of investment brokering. What are you talking about? I'm talking about doing something different, something else. When? Now. Now you're pissing me off. I'm not trying to. I'm just getting burned out. I was never in love with this stuff anyway. Since when? You eat this shit up for breakfast with a sports section. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just now realizing it. Honey, you know, the only reason I ever got into the Marine Corps was so I could make enough money to pay for my college education. And now I feel like I'm doing the same thing all over again. And the only reason I got into this business was to make money to be rich. Not because I really loved it. So how am I supposed to go back to school? We were counting on your income. I know. Your timing, it's, it's impeccable. It's amazing. Costa Rican. No! I'm gonna go get some. All right.
morning. Good morning. It's a glorious day. Great for trout. I'm using a new bait today. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Maggie seems unusually relaxed and cheerful this morning. <laughs> yeah. I decided to give it another go. Really? Yeah. That's great. Should have hung yourself. Yeah. Shut up, Maybe I should have. Then you could have written a song about it. Will you shut up? Just shut the fuck up. If you're so unhappy with your life, then why don't you do something about it? You think you're the only one in the world with problems? Why don't you take some goddamn responsibility and quit blaming us or anyone else? Go screw yourself, man. The Navy Ron's right. You know, I haven't given a shit about him for years. You give a shit about anybody but yourself? Fuck off. Come on. Are you coming? Look, we have to talk. So how many women have you slept with, huh? He doesn't know what he was saying, and he was hysterical. <gasps> oh, don't even try to lie to me now. How many? It was one, all right, only one. But it's over. Who? What difference does it make? Who? You know what? Maggie! Who? Morgan. Morgan? Morgan Trace. Alex, Morgan fucks everybody! It's <laughs> over. I ended it! So what? I'm supposed to make everything better! No. <laughs> what 
I can, all right? I can make it better. Oh, can... please. Come on, we can start over fresh. Oh. Ah! Fucker! Get the fuck out of my life! Gray area, not so gray now. I'm sorry. God damn it. What the hell did you do? What the hell did you do? I don't know. Oh, if you don't know, who should I ask him? It's two years ago. Thompson account. Me and Charles Blakely, we... We did some inside trading. And a few other times after that. Oh, my God. That's why we had such a good year. Oh, don't tell me you did this for me. No. No. So what the hell for? Because I... I got caught up in it. I got caught up in the game. And then it, it just happened. Now I'm gonna have to pay for it. Yeah, so am I. Look, Bobby, if you don't want to stick around for this, I understand. Tim. First of all, what are you doing with this? Baby, don't you know how much I love you? Hmm? Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. How can you even think like that? Hmm? I'll call you when I get home. I love you. Thank you, Bobby. Okay. Please, don't leave like this. Please, look, I, I know I screwed up, but I, I never meant to hurt you. Can we do this later? No. No, please. What do you want from me? I want you. I want us. I want, I want us to be back the way we were. Will you give me a chance we can get there, okay? Please. Okay, I love you. Beautiful place for a horrible weekend, huh? Next year? Really? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Huh? Tim, thanks for the room, man. Yeah, Drew. Take care, all right? Okay. It was really nice meeting you, Trent. Hey, Thank nice you. meeting you too, Tina. Uh, thank you for being there for me the other night. Thank you too. 
And thank you for a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Really. You thank take you. care. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, guys. Bye. See you. See ya. What's that all about? I'll tell you later. So what's the name of this lawyer again? Benjamin Yagman. And you're sure he's good, right? He's the best. He hasn't lost one yet. Hello? Hey. Where are you guys? Oh, all right. No, just stay there. We'll come and get you. Yeah. All right. Stabby, she found Ron. I told you I had trouble with people. Yeah, you told me. Ow. You know, if they didn't care, they wouldn't be so upset. Oh, I suppose. Ow. Oh. So, how's it doing? <sighs> Catatonic. Guess everything's back to normal then. <laughs> Why, well, I guess. Come on, you guys, let's go back to the house. <clears throat> When you smile like a millionaire, I know that you truly care. There's your name. I'm sorry about all this. <laughs> I didn't know the activities this weekend were to include psychodrama and primal scream therapy. <laughs> you mean this isn't a ritual with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a good time. No, if I didn't like you very much, I'd be pissed, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Now, where have I heard that song before? I like you too, Debbie. Very much. And I think I might even be about to fall in love. Well, what's stopping you? Trent, I don't know what's happened, but I look at you and I know that I love you. And it scares the shit out of me. Well, since it scares the shit out of both of us, should we just go for it? Change our underwear? <laughs> Frequently. Get high off of it. Really? No. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> yes, it is. Not true. Whoa. Go ahead, try it. Hey, we tried CPR on you once today. That's all you get. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since we lit snakes. <laughs> oh. Mine's out. Mine's oh. gone. Oops. Hey, Ron. You know, my dad, he used to spank me when I was a kid. That's why I approached him and I said, hey, Dad, uh, I think you don't shouldn't spank me no more. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. And so then he said, hey, mister, if you want me to stop spanking you, <laughs> you just come on. <laughs> and then I saw this grizzly bear, and he went, <laughs> and I noticed this flying around the country that no matter where you fly across the country, every airport has got some sort of display to give you an idea of the region, you know? I fly up to Alaska. In the middle of their airport, they've got this huge glass case. In it is an 11 and a half foot tall, 4,000 pound stuffed polar bear, stuffed like this. Now, apparently, they want you to believe that they shot this bear <laughs> when he was coming at him like this. <laughs> oh, bullshit, man. He's 11 and a half foot tall. You're not going to maintain your cool with a big-ass bear coming at you. You're going to run. I think more realistically, the bear would look like this. Ah! <laughs> that wouldn't be cool, a big bear like that. See, I know what happened. This poor bear was picking berries. A guy came around the corner and kaplam! Actually, I couldn't have happened, though, because I found out while I was there, polar bears don't eat berries, they eat meat. I didn't know that, but I found out because while I was there, there was a guy eaten by a polar bear. A whole guy. And it all happened while he was taking pictures of it. Now, I'm no photographer, all right? 
But don't you think you would notice the bear getting bigger? <laughs> Looking right at it, man. What is he thinking? This is a hell of a zoom lens. Ah! <laughs> Good night.